NFL players who say they suffered long-term health problems from concussions were the first to file a lawsuit. Now college athletes are suing the NCAA. Included in that class action suit is Texas Longhorn Julius Whittier, who is now suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has his story. How long has it been, Julius, since you left the district attorney's office? Do you re remember that? Um, I've been out of there, shoot, what? My sister and I, uh, we're, I'm glad she's here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been two years. Two it's years. been two yeah. years. Yeah. 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 And Millie, tell me, what, what has this journey kind of been like? It's been emotionally draining. Julius Whittier made history as the first black to play football at the University of Texas from 1969 to 72, graduating with three degrees, including a law degree. He's worked as a defense attorney between two stints in the DA's office. Misplaced things, you know, it's like going all over the house trying to help him find stuff, um, you know, happened early on. And it never hit me that it could have been something more than just forgetfulness. But it was. Whittier, diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, played offensive line, tight end, and linebacker at UT. When we were playing, I mean, you were actually taught and trained to use your head. Uh, uh, as a battering ram to both tackle people and to and to black people. Attorney and former judge Dwight Jefferson, who followed Whittier to Longhorn football from his native San Antonio, has filed a potentially historic $50 million lawsuit against the NCAA on behalf of Whittier and others who did not go to the NFL but are suffering from brain injuries, a potentially monumental class action lawsuit going back to 1960. It was around 1960 that you had the hard shell helmet and the face mask, and with that, uh, that changed fundamentally football and how people were taught to tackle and how people were taught to, uh, to block. To see a brother who is intelligent, has been vibrant, to be in this condition, it's, it's, um, it's been tough. It's been tough seeing him uh, grapple for things. Now, Whittier making history again and hopeful that people in my condition, in my situation I should say, um, to be able to have some opportunity to get either get the situation fixed or to, uh, um, 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 to, to at least give clearance to people who come behind us. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.